I'm Dr. Linda Gromko, and this is Transgender Medicine Made Simple. Today we're looking at a question of the week, and that question is, my estrogen level is too high, what should I do? So this patient uh, told me that she was using estradiol by injections, but her measured estradiol level was 900, and usually we're going to be aiming for 100 to 200 picograms per milliliter, sometimes up to 300, but certainly not 900. And she wanted to know if she should be worried about this. So we have to remember that a single number without context can be misleading. So let's take a look at this. Estradiol levels and any drug levels are best interpreted at a pharmacologic steady state. Well, what does that mean? So the steady state is when the hormone going into the bloodstream is about equivalent to the hormone that's being cleared from the bloodstream. So this is an equilibrium. And we know that when we start on medications, it takes a while for a steady state to be achieved, usually after five half-lives on a stable dose. And a half-life is defined as approximately a dosing interval or the time between doses. So that's kind of complicated. But the point is, is that we wait until the, the drug is stable in your body. And then we want to remember that um, we, we do want to achieve a steady state where a person has reached an equilibrium. So even at a steady state, timing within the dosing cycle does matter. So let's take a look at this further. So high numbers are are not automatically dangerous, okay? In pregnancy, for example, estradiol levels may measure three to 4,000 picograms per mil in the first trimester. And late in pregnancy, those hormone levels are often over 20,000. So when we see a level in a, a trans patient that's 900, I, I know that this is not our goal, but it certainly isn't toxic and it's not going to be fatal. So there's no need for alarm on this, but again, it's not the level that we're seeking. Numbers don't always tell the full story and numbers don't treat people. Our lab values are guidelines only. We also consider things like how does the patient feel? What are the physical and emotional effects that are experienced? And also we want to make certain that there are no adverse effects or side effects that are either harmful or not desired by a patient. So good hormone care looks at patterns over time, not just a single number. In this patient, we wanted to advise her that, um, first of all, we wanted to draw the level at its lowest point, like right before the next injection. That's what we call the trough level. If you do it right after the injection, those levels are going to reflect as being high. So like I said, it's, it's a fairly complicated topic, but when we look at it as a big picture, rather than a single number, we can make some reasonable interpretations and help a patient make good choices with respect to their hormone dosing. So I hope that information was helpful for you today. Do you have a question of the week? If you do, please leave it in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.